Hi folks, hope you're okay today. We're looking at the book of Acts and uh, we, what we've been looking at is that in the book of Acts as an ancient, uh, 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 a historian of ancient antiquity uh, whose name is um, Colin Hermer, a classicist historian of, of eminence looking at the book of Acts in an honest open way found 84 historical facts confirmed in the book of Acts 84 facts that we know about ancient antiquity verified in the book of Acts so we we have from 25 uh, Corinthian uh, number 27 Corinthian synagogue is mentioned in eight, Acts 18.4 the correct designation of Galileo as proconsul is resident in Corinthians 18.12 uh, the beam of judgment seat which overlooks Corinth forum in uh, Acts 18.16 is confirmed the name Trinus as attested from Ephesus in first century inscriptions in Acts 19.19 well known shrines and images of Artemis in Acts 19.24 the well attested great goddess Artemis in Acts 19.27 uh, that the Ephesians theatre was the meeting place of the city in Acts 19.29 the correct title Grammateus for the chief executive magistrate in uh, Ephesus in Acts 19.35 the proper title of honour Neocross authorized by the Romans in Acts 19:35. The correct name to designate the goddess Acts 19:37. Uh, number 37, the proper term for those holding court Acts 19:38. And we could go on and on and on of historical facts confirmed in the Book of Acts by eminent historians today. Paul, being this is uh, Dr. Keener, a world authority on the Book of Acts. He tells you why he thinks the Book of Acts. Is historically reliable. Let down from a wall uh, in, in a basket at Damascus is attested both in Acts and in Paul's own writings. Uh, you have a fairly exact itinerary uh, where, where, where they, they both mention the same points, uh, quite a large number of points. I mean, Paul is converted near Damascus and then the rest of his life, uh, you know, Jerusalem, um, Syria, Cilicia, and uh, the, the different cities that he visits one after the other, even Paul's travel plans that are mentioned in uh, Acts 19, um, where he plans to go to Macedonia, Greece, and then Jerusalem and then Rome, uh, are also his travel plans in his letters and, and how things are fulfilled in his letters. So, so many correspondences on that level. History was written differently than history today uh, and of course we can't judge ancient historians by a genre that didn't yet exist um, but of course there were the modern historiography developed from ancient historiography even the critical methodologies developed from ancient historians like Polybius for example a a but ancient historians were very concerned with with information and not only historians but other writers also uh, Pliny, Aristotle, uh, Cicero, and so on, spoke of the responsibility of historians to deal in factual information. At the same time, they presented the information differently than, than we do today. Um, they were more interested in moral or political or even theological lessons. There we are. I hope that's been a blessing to you. And uh, I'll link to the 84 facts in the Book of Acts, and I hope that's a, a blessing to you.